Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, an unboxing of the Isco Van de Graaff uh, generator. Um, as you can see here, this is where I was testing it a bit later on. So let's get into it. This is how the box arrived to me. So you can see Isco Van de Graaff generator. Yes, very nice. I do not know if the volumes are right because I had a cold when I first recorded this. And uh, I'll probably skip ahead a few little bits, but you can see there, this is how it arrived. Nice bit of packaging. The manual there that contains a bit of science on how uh, how the Van de Graaff works, uh, as well as a few sort of teacher-based questions and answers for the students to fill in. Um, well, I suppose uh, part of it is the the question bit that can be photocopied and and scanned or whatever. Uh, this is a box that contains the sort of supplied little experiments to work with. Let's have a quick look inside. Oops, trying to do this one-handed with the camera and yeah. But um, yeah, so all the kind of little stuff, stuff supplied in there. Bits of gadgets, all explained in the booklet as well. Yep, come on, back to the box. Yes, that's it. That's right. Uh, God, yeah, I took so long doing this. All right, um, what else now? Ah, yes, this bit is the large metal dome on the top. Yeah, again, difficulty one-handed. nicely wrapped. I try to make sure not to get my fingers on the on the metal at all to, to sort of prevent sort of any grease build up or anything like that. Yeah, box put out the way. Right, a few more bits out of the way. Ah yes, this is called the discharge wand. Nicely wrapped up. Let's see how well uh, skip ahead a little bit. Uh, skip ahead a bit more. There we go, yes. Oh, should have really edited these beforehand. But there we go, yes, that's the charging one. Ha, <laughs> ah, yes. Very good, yeah, now put it to one side. Oh, that's where... It, yeah, that's just a plastic handle. I was looking for the for the where you're supposed to plug in the cable that links it all together, but that was actually up on the, on the metal sphere itself. That power cable, yep. Standard UK plug, yeah, yeah. Bit more, a bit more packaging of paper. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah. Right, and I do myself a little bit of pause editing there on a rigid video. Yes, there we go. Empty, and it's magically on the table, and it's plastic. There we go. Yes, look at that. Right, whoosh. Lots of plastic just to keep dust off everything, because uh, these are a bit sort of dust sensitive. And, uh, yeah. Quite a nice solid construction, really. I did try making myself one of these, but I just I just didn't have the precision material, well, precision tools to all the patients, really, and the materials to, to make it all. But this is the sort of uh, motor-powered as well as hand-cranked version, so you have to swap over the, the uh, little rubber bands as you do. This one I noticed is a bit loose, but uh, yeah, there you go. And was it? Yeah, there's a little little a ridge where the molding is, but that turns out to be okay. It's nothing to to doesn't ruin anything, right? Oh yeah, that moves back and forth, but it sort of self centers when it's running, and it's not a problem either. All right, and that is that. Now, do I do a, a no? It ends. Ah, right. Okay, quick. Oop, my fault. There we go. Next bit. Ah, yes. Should really set up a transition. Yes, I'm all plugged in. Well done, me. So this is just a little quick test to see the motor running. That's on set on low speed. So that that is spinning, but it's difficult to tell because it's, it's a dark colour. You can't see it. You can hear it sort of spin down a bit. Right, uh, there's high speed as well. Right, let's move forwards a bit. Yep, making sure that uh, spins and it does turn, yay! And I turn in the way of the arrow too. That's quite cool. Right, la 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 la. la. Moving forwards. Uh, we're going to get this unwrapped. Are we? Ah, no, I'm doing the thing, the video editing thing again. Yes, there we go. Boom, magic. And I also plugged it in as well with the discharge one. So as always, yeah, it plugs in the side. That's neat. What am I doing now? Oh, I was just checking something out. Yeah, trying to trying to aim things via the screen and the actual yeah this doesn't 
not going to work. So you can see that a few times where I reach for something, I'm just not going to know what I'm doing. Right, I'll swap in hands on the camera there, just so I can use my left hand. There we go. Now you should be able to hear a little bit of crackling. Yeah. That's just charge building up on the, um, what's it, Dubri? On the belt. There we go, that was probably a bit of a crackle. I can't hear the sound in OBS when it's doing a recording session. It's really frustrating because um, I've got it set up to send... Well, I'm pretty sure I've got it set up to send through my headphones. But anyway, yeah, so I have a little another go, just spooling it up a bit more, just to, you know, see what it does. Yeah, okay. And let's see. There's a bit of a crackle, but because the, the lights are on, you can't see nothing. So just going to set things up a little bit more. Play around, switch to motor. That just involves going ping and putting that one on. So there's a bit of faffing as I get it right. There we go, and it comes off when I first test it. There we go. And we, yeah, you can see in the middle there it's come off. So forwards a bit more. Yeah, get that sorted. Right, are we ready? Maybe. What am I doing? Ah, yes, turning the lights off. Yeah, it's well done. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So we get some nice sparks initially. I'm getting used to it, discharging it as I go. Just trying to find the right sort of balance. Yeah. Forwards a bit more. I'll mess around a bit. And I'm going to switch to high speed. And there we go. That's about six centimeters of a spark, so that's pretty good. As it was running, the actual the, the the charge it was building up was actually pulling the 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 discharged ones towards it slightly, and this is pretty much near the end. Uh, let's see, yeah, faffing around. Right, let's switch to the the final part. So, the experiments that come with it. So yes, nice little booklet, a lot of nice explanation to sort of show what's happening. My uh, feeble attempts at turning a page one-handed. There we go. Let's just skip forwards. Yep information about what there is, the different experiments, and it goes into a nice sort of detail of just materials and things. Yeah, this little bulb there, oh, I've obscured it. Anyway, yeah, skipping forwards. First experiment, let's uh, extract it. Okay, skip forwards a bit, because it's just it, right. Yeah, tube full of aluminium balls. That thing is supposed to help tell uh, what polarity the charge is on the main dome. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, that's, I was using that earlier. That just links the charging one to the base. And what have I got now? It is a prize. No, I'm not. There we go. Right, that is a little rubber ball inside which the tin it's sitting in gets charged up and the rubber ball is uh, repelled by it. What's this thing? A plastic comb for doing things. Right, there we go. Right, what's the next thing? Come on, grab it. Fluffy tail thing. It's just a kind of to demonstrate like when you put your hand on the Van de Graaff and your hair would all sort of go all spiky. It does that with that as well. And the last thing is a nice little star spinny thing to demonstrate ionization of air and the force of force of everything just pushing around it spins up quite nicely right so first one is this do I do editing again yes I do excellent right now let's see how well I aim while looking through a camera at the same time yeah not too good that there we go first time where's the star gone yeah yeah come on do it properly there we go trolling myself on a pre-recording right switch it on switch it there we go uh, left left right there we go and once it starts up yeah quite neat i should really turn the lights off you might have seen a corona uh, effect not the virus but you know the uh, blue little light discharge now it does 
slow down a little bit. Well, it's already built up a fair amount of momentum, but there we go. That's that. Let's fast forward a little bit. A little bit of editing once that stops. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this one didn't really work very well. I think I need to turn the lights off for it, so... Uh, yeah, we'll skip forwards on that one. Yeah, no, no, yeah, come on. Next, next. What have we got next? We are going for the one of the aluminium balls. There we go. Bing, magic. Now this one's quite fun. Connect it on the top. Yeah, left a bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just push harder. Yeah, it'll go. Just push. There we go. And then switch it on. I'm getting better at that. Bing! There we go. And the booklet has a nice explanation as to what's actually going on there. Just connect, collecting a charge from the little metal plate at the bottom and repelling from the plate and each other. So it's quite neat. They do re keep some charge once you switch it off. And if you touch the discharge wand, bonk, they all drop down. Lovely. Okay, fast forward a little bit. All right, what's next? That thing. Fast forward a little bit more. There we go. I do get it wrong at first uh, in terms of using it, so I put it in there, put it in the hole, fast forward, there we go. Yeah, I switch it on and it's wrong because it's meant to sit on the outside, so fast forward again. Uh, is this where I... No, 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 fast forward again. Should really edit this beforehand. There we go, it sits like that. I turn it on. Yeah, all right, yeah, get, yeah, got on of it. Yeah. Yay! Science. Fast forward. Anyway, there. Uh, la 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 la. Ah, hairy thing. Yep. I get in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get it. Just get on with it. And it doesn't really sort of go as much, but it does go. There's a little bit of crackling. Yeah. Spreads out. And... Yeah, I, I start getting little tiny shocks from it as it's hurting to me. Surprised my camera didn't complain. Or my phone, anyway. Yeah. Do, 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 fast forwards, doing stuff, and then discharge. There we go. You can see it drops a little bit. Cool. And yeah, that is the, the last of the little experiments I did of it. Um, hope you en enjoy this little box unboxing video and demonstration of it. So hopefully down the line I'll do a few more experiments with it and uh, doing stuff. Yeah, more editing there. Yeah, and that is that. So with that, uh, just a little bit more of what I was doing originally. And uh, see you in the next video.